Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a what I got for my birthday video. I wasn't actually planning on doing one of these videos and then I just thought, why not? Why have my neighbours picked right now to argue? You're both wrong, can you just shut up please, darlings? I'll get involved. Shut up, you're wrong, you're wrong. I definitely think me and my friends and family are way more Christmas people than birthday people. Right, we're going to start small, end big, and we're going to start with my cards because my cards are really funny. My two best friends got me very similar but very weird cards. This one from Naomi, I think she's trying to say that I'm old and weird all in one go. <laughs> Literally, kind of could be that woman. It's a bit an image, isn't we, Betty? And then Carly got me this one. Don't know if I'm going to be demonetised for this. What do you want that, darling? I'm making thousands. So it's another old woman, except this time she's naked, holding plants in front of her boobs and other areas. <laughs> I need to show you these next cards because they're from Thoughtful, and I love that website. I'll put it here. If you need a good place to get cards, you should go on Thoughtful. Happy B-Day. Beyonce, B-Day. Need I say any more? There's a story behind this one. Basically, I once ran downstairs to my dad and said, Dad, do you know what I've noticed? The eldest child's always the ugliest. And then it hit me. I'm the eldest. And they've never, ever let that one go. Ever. So, one of my sisters got me a happy birthday to mum and dad's ugliest child. And she put inside of it, remember, the oldest is always the ugliest. And then, lastly, on the card, you probably bored stiff, clicked off the video by now. No, you better not. Are you still here? I'm in a really weird mood, I'm so sorry. Am I not always in a really weird mood though? Probably. This one. Daughter, there is only one you, but that's okay, because one is all we can handle. Best believe. And that's my cards. I think they're very fitting to me. It's almost as if my friends and family know me. We'll start with the sentimentals. My little sister, we won't go too close. This person is a mystery. Little sister made this, made it all cute with the gold. And I really want to start scrapbooking. So I was like, well, you've done all the work for me now. Like you've made the pretty bit. I could just plonk it in. I got a few little beauty bits. So these are really, really cute. They're little eye mask patches, but they're gold. Look at that. They're bloody gold. This person always says, oh, I'm so crap at giving gifts. And I actually really wanted some eye mask thingies. Didn't even think of getting them in gold. And they got them for me. Got a little sheet mask. Everyone loves a sheet mask. This made me feel like it was Christmas because I get soap and glory when it's Christmas time. I'm so happy I got some more body wash because I was running out. And this just looks so pretty in the bathroom. This is just like a little spritz. I normally like to put things like this in my car. And then this I've never tried before. It's a multitasking body bar. Oh, they've, they've said this is not food. Wouldn't have known, to be honest. Yeah, so it's like a little soap. So old school, so retro. And I also got some essential oils, the ones that you roll on like here, here, temples, I can't remember. They're these ones, a little mindfulness. They smell so, so good. Next, we've got a watering can that looks like a little genie in the bottle. I'm a genie in a bottle. It's really cute. It's got all these little gold speckles on and it's from TK Maxx. Look how pretty it is. Jude, want to top up? Oh, Gillian. Hey. I asked for a watering can. What a sad little life change. Next up on the exciting things I asked for for my birthday, a plant pot. Now, as you can see, you can't see. This is the same plant pot that this plant's in. And I wanted another one for my kitchen. At the moment, I've got a gold plant pot in there, but I just really want to add this instead. I like the way this looks against my pattern floors. And this, although it's in my bedroom at the moment, it actually lives in my bathroom. And this next to my pattern floor looks good. And it is from B&Q, if you're wondering. They do do different sizes. This gift looked way better before I started eating it all. Hopefully I've got like a little video of it when it was first made. But here we have a, what is this? A bouquet of chocolates? It, oh. It basically has all my favourite chocolates in. This was a love-hate present because I haven't stopped eating them since I got them. This is such a good idea for a present. My stepmom made it and I think Becky Home Sweet Home, I'll leave her Instagram on screen, but she makes loads of stuff like this and it's just a really good present. I was well excited. I was like, oh, what next, what next, what next? Next, we've got this 
gourd bottle of vodka. I love gourd. Not only the only in the not only in the not only in the not only, in the, not only is this bottle so pretty. It tastes amazing and it's also making me wish I had a bar cart. So it's a fruit punch vodka and this mixed with lemonade, oh my god, is dangerous because it doesn't taste like alcohol. It literally tastes like blackcurrant cordial with lemonade. Can you hear that? There's not a lot left. The hangover <laughs> was another level. But it is so, so nice. I need to find out where this is from. I feel like the person said they got it off Amazon or did I just make that up? Next we have a notebook and a little matching pen. What kind of effect is this? What's this kind of look? I don't know what the look is, but I like it. You can never have too many notebooks. I love a notebook. And this doesn't matter at all, but it looks really cute just sitting in my living room. Or my kitchen when I change my work tops. Ooh, coming soon. Coming to a YouTube channel near you soon. I got some candles. Um, where should we begin? <gasps> This one is so good. So this is the Yankee Candle. It smells, I can't even explain it, but it smells amazing. I haven't burnt it yet, but it smells so, 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 so good. I really, really, really recommend this. <laughs> I really recommend this one if you like fresh sort of, I don't even know how to describe it, but it smells amazing. Got another Yankee candle here, which is white linen and lace. You can't go wrong with a linen scent candle. This one is to go on top of my main gift, which is kind of to myself and sort of from other people because they've given me money towards it. But I'll get to that at the end. And it's just this really pretty candle, which is perfect for a kitchen. Hint, hint. It smells like herby. Which sounds weird. It smells like the herb. Fragrant aromatic blend of lemon juice, puddled, muddled, <laughs> with green notes of crushed basil leaves and the fresh minty tones of crisp something leaf. Does anyone else do that when they read something? They can't read the words, so they're like something. It just smells like the perfect kitchen scent. Another little kitchen candle. A whole box of these in my kitchen. I just love burning them on a Sunday because they literally last one day. Next, we have some Converse. I've wanted these for a while. So they're low top converse in this beige colour. Would they be me without the little bit of gold on them? No. And I like that although they're beige, they've got like this off-white colour. So I could still sort of wear them with my white tracksuit, which I think will look cute. And they also go really nicely with, so nicely with my new check shirt that I bought myself. I have white converse and sometimes they just don't go with outfits and I wish I had a more beigey sort of colour so these are perfect and if you are wondering I absolutely love this big check shirt it's from H&M it kind of reminds me of like a light shacket because it's not a shacket but it's a heavy shirt if you know what I mean I got it in a large it's quite oversized um I'll link this below oh and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe give the video a thumbs up and put the bell on I love being like a proper YouTube wanker. Oh, and one of my friends said they want to buy me a loungewear set and I've got to pick it. And I keep saying I'm probably not going to pick anything. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. I'm surprised no one's bought me this next one sooner. And it is the Udi. Is that you say it? Udi? Udi? I am obsessed. Shall we put it on? I'm basically just a giant marshmallow in this. Look at it. It's actually huge. Look. <laughs> it's the softest thing ever. It's that big. It came in a suction, like, vacuum pack. It's got this huge pocket at the front, which I can only imagine is for the snacks. It's literally like wearing a huge blanket. I'm the kind of person that lives in their dressing gown, and now I just live in this. If you love your dressing gown, you need an hoodie. So the last thing I actually haven't got yet, and this is the thing that I was saying I've had money towards. So it's kind of like a gift from other people and to me from me. I think I'm going to order it today. Weirdly, I've been so excited to get this thing that I've just not ordered it because I'm excited. And I like having this feeling of excitement, so 
yeah, I don't, I don't understand either. This is just my weird logic. So I'm going to put it on screen now. So much bigger than my current oven and it's a lot more aesthetically pleasing. The oven I've got now was, I call it like my starter oven that I've ended up having for so long. And it was quite cheap. The paint's all chipped. It's so hard to cook a roast dinner in it. And this one, I can't wait to cook a roast dinner in it. That's going to be like my first meal I cook, I think. It's got two bits and the top bit looks so much better to clean. I know that sounds stupid, but the one I've got currently, I could clean it for seven hours straight and it still would look like it's not been cleaned. Whereas this one's all smooth and oh, I'm sure I'll probably vlog when the new oven comes and you'll see this on top of it. This is what I was on about. I'm picturing the scene. I've just cooked a roast in my new oven. I put my washing up in my new sink might have washed up might not have actually no i've washed up and then i put this on top after i cleaned my fresh new hob and i like it and it's just smells like basil in there did you picture the scene could you feel it could you feel the that fresh feeling with your new oven oh. My kitchen has changed so much in the last week new sink i've done all my organization if you haven't seen that video i'll link it up here oh my god I just go and stare at all my cupboards now. But anyway, that is everything I got for my birthday. I didn't thank everyone and tell you who they were all from because quite frankly, I did that. I already thanked them. <laughs> I never understand when people do that. Like, it's nice, but I just, I don't get it. I don't understand. Don't understand, bitch. I don't understand. Thanks for watching. Why did I put my thumbs up? Give the video a thumbs up. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Good. Bye.